good morning in the first video i have explained you about the experience experiment from your own book of science this is the second part of your own book of science let us read out first puzzles in your surroundings why does it help even in summer we feel very hot in summer the sun shines brightly and the temperature is high and then suddenly there are clouds in the sky and it starts raining not just water but even small balls of ice we say it has started hailing the small balls of ice are called hailstones why does it hail in the hot summer season as we move up from the land the temperature begins to fall up in the sky it's very cold even in the hot season you know that there are water particles in the clouds that we see in the sky very high up in the sky the water particles in the clouds turn into little bits of ice so here we are going to talk about the hell in this topic okay here it is told about the summer season what how do we feel yes you know that already that uh, sun is so bright and because of that temperature is so high and we are feeling so much hot that we have to take juices and some kind of cold drinks and what happens around us is that that uh, there are clouds sometimes suddenly gets collected clouds in the sky and it starts raining sometimes we feel that it's raining but sometimes small balls of ice comes down as in the form of rain and uh, this rain is only called as hailing when the rain when it is raining in the form of balls of ice we call this as hailing okay so, and this balls of ice are called hailstones see here on the next picture you can see that here some hail hailstones are there okay and these small balls are called hail okay so let us see how it uh, hail as we move up from the line the temperature begins to fall see means uh, actually the, when the sun rays comes down on the crown it started making it warm getting it hot and one one sun surface from the earth gets hot but uh, as we move up from the line the temperature begins to fall up in the sky it's very cold even in the hot season and we can see water particles in the form of clouds right yes cloud means there are some water particles in the sky that is only clouds very high up in the sky the water particles in the cloud turn into little bits of ice as it is so cool high up in the sky so there are small balls of ice and sometimes there are strong so strong winds in the clouds that this small balls of ice goes up okay they are push this little bits of ice upward and they do not fall to the ground instead of falling down it goes up because of the strong winds and is as it go up and up it collect more water particles and which freezes on to them and as the tiny balls gets more bigger and bigger and bigger and they turn into hailstones when the heavy hailstones fall on the ground in the form of a shower when these hailstones hailstones are uh, small they gets melt before they reach the ground but some are um, big in size so while coming down also they remain as the hailstones right the smaller ones melts and it turn into raindrops but some are bigger so they, they reach at the ground in the form of hailstones a uh, light shower of hail can be great fun but when it is a big hail storm that causes great damage to crops plants and animals as it is hitting from high high sky okay so because of that big fall because of that big fall these 
crops and plants got damaged okay and sometimes this animals also got get hurt now look at here you can see the one picture of hailstorm actually this is one short information about hailstorm and it happens in maharashtra maharashtra was hit by a series of hailstorms in 2014 the hailstorms are devastated thousands of acres of standing crops fruit crops were ruined ruin means destroyed birds and animals were killed and injured in large numbers farmers suffered very heavy losses it was a great natural calamity devastated means destroyed completely destroyed this hailstorm has completely destroyed thousand of acres of standing crops and it also injured birds and animals there it was a great natural calamity calamity means a terrible event that causes a lot of damage or harm right what are the different kinds of calamity can you tell yes flood is also one of the calamity okay